Hi boys and girls, I'm sorry I'm not there today, but I still wanted to talk to you about what I'm going to do next with scene two. So remember I transitioned to the scene by telling the time and the place and who was there and what was happening. So I decided to say, a few hours later in the farmhouse, Cinder Smellen said goodbye to her sisters. So that tells what's happening and now I wanna show you what I decided. Remember I'm going to have Cinder Smellen by the fireplace and crying tears, and she's going to say something like, oh, boo-hoo, I want to go to the rodeo too. And then, poof, her fairy cow mother is going to appear, and she'll say something like, oh, remember, she has a spark, she's gonna appear in a, in a cloud of sparkles and wear a crown on her head and have a pink tutu. And she's going to say, oh, Cinder Smellin, what's wrong, dear? And Cinder Smellin's going to tell her about how she wants to go to the rodeo. And then I made some decisions about what the fairy cow mother is going to do. She's going to turn the pot a potato into a tractor. And then her horse Chester is going to be made the driver. And she's going to say, mibbity mobbity moo. And then sparkles are going to shoot out of her wand. So I have to talk about that when I write it. And then she's going to end up wearing a plaid shirt, a red cowgirl boots, and her jean skirt. She's going to remind her she has to be back by midnight, and then she's going to send Cinderella on her way, and that will be the end of scene two. Now I now that I've got a plan, I'm going to act it out so I can bring that scene to life in my imagination so I'm ready to write about it. Okay, you ready to watch my act? Here I go. Scene two. Action. that out was to help me imagine what the scene will be like and think about well what parts do I need to put in that maybe I've forgotten in my plan. I realize there's going to be quite a bit of conversation back and forth between Cinder Smellin and her fairy god fairy cow moother um, and I realized that there's going to be some um, objects that Cinder Smellin has to go get and I have to tell what she's getting. I have to talk about the sparkles shooting through the air and filling the room and all that that I acted out, I now have to put into words and put into my story. I have to bring what I just acted to life with my words in my story. Once you have planned scene two, 
you need to find a partner that you can work well with and find a spot in the middle room of the hall and take turns acting your scenes out. Maybe you can help each other act those scenes out. And then as soon as you're done acting it out, sit down and write that scene. Bring it to life in the same packet you have scene one in. You're also going to now add scene two. Don't forget to skip lines. Okay? And write out scene two, everything you acted out. I'm going to go do that with mine now. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye.